So now let's do a between example. Again, I have that the ACT mean math score is 20.7, standard deviation is 2.0. Assume the distribution is normally distributed. Okay, so again, I've got my mean and I'm going to highlight it again in yellow. Standard deviation of 2, I'm going to highlight that again in green because I just want to keep everything straight. And it's saying it's normally distributed. So I've got that in blue. Okay. But now I've got something, find the probability that a randomly selected student has a math ACT score between 18.4 and 23.9. Okay, we haven't seen one of these before, but it's saying between, which means I have two values. So think about it this way. If you stand between two walls, you have one wall on one side of you and one wall on the other side of you. So now I'm looking for the area between 18.4 and 23.9. Again, I have all the directions for mini tab in the next slide, but I'm just going to show you how to do it. Okay, go to graph again, probability distribution plot, view probability, and hit OK. I've got my mean of 20.7, my standard deviation of 2. I go to my shaded area and hit middle. So now I need to put my middle values. And if you don't remember, I'm going to go back to it. It was 18.4 and 23.9. So I go 18.4 and 23.9. And it's sitting in the middle, which is great. And again, I have two values. So I hit OK. And look, it gave me this graphic where 18.4 and 23.9, and the area in red is the area I'm concerned about, and it gives me 0.8201. So what does that mean? So that means that the pro, excuse me, let me go to the final slide, the probability that a randomly selected student has a math ACT score between 18.4 and 23.9 is 0.8201. If I said what's the percentage, I would convert 0.8201 to a percentage and it would be 82.01. So that's how you do the between. The tail scenario is a little tricky, but it's easy once you get it. So again, I'm looking for the scores of students and I'm still using that ACT with the mean math score of 20.7. Again, I'm going to highlight it in yellow to be consistent and a standard deviation of two. I'm going to assume the distribution is normally distributed. Okay, so then I want to find the probability that a randomly selected student has a math ACT score less than 18.6 and greater than 22.3. Okay, it has a less than and it has a greater than in it. Yes, you could do these separately and add them together. I think that's kind of tough and it can get a little bit confusing. So let me show you what we're going to do. Again, it's saying it's less than 18.6 and greater than 22.3. So my first step is I'm going to go back to graph, probability distribution plot, and hit view probabilities. I've got my mean and my standard deviation in there, and I'm going to go to shaded area, and I'm going to keep the middle one selected. So this is 18.6, oops, and this is 22.3. All right, so I hit OK. All right, so here I have it, and the area in red is between. But what I wanted was the area in white. I wanted the area less than 18.6 and greater than 22.3. So let me go to the slide that explains what I did. Okay, so remember my area between was 0.6413. And again, it's here, it's the area in red, but I don't want the area in red. I want the area in white. So all I do is I subtract that area from one. 1 minus 0.6413 gives me 0.3587. So the probability that a randomly selected student has a math ACT score less than 18.6 or greater than 22.3 is 0.3587. So there I have it. I have the answer. And again, I have it here for you on here. 
But again, I'm not looking at the red. I'm looking at the white portions of this.